Hey there, John Larson here. On behalf of Green Day's group, I'd like to welcome you to this bonus video that I'm doing with regard to Trello and getting the most out of it. So as you probably have seen, I put together a whole training series some time ago about Trello. And basically, uh, the example I created for folks was one of using Trello as like a personal management tool. So uh, bringing in thoughts and setting targets and keeping track of getting things done. So that was the example uh, I created. And I had uh, a great question by a fellow named Joe with regard to using Trello from a team point of view. And I realized I really hadn't spent too much time going over that. So I wanted to do that in this video for you as sort of a, a bonus, like I said. So to begin, let's go ahead and click on the Trello icon and we're going to go to sort of the main board screen. And if you scroll down, you can create a team just by clicking on this create a new team option. So this is available in the free version, which is where I'm at right now. And you can give your, your team so a name like my team. Yeah, and you can see I've done that before. And for a description, you can throw anything in there or not. That's up to you and click on create. So basically that's it. You've created your team and now from your team you can do things like edit your profile so you can set up a specific website link to your team, you can describe your team, you can give your team a short name, you can change the name, I'll hit cancel here, um, and then you can have your boards for your team so you can click here to create a new board. Of course you can also if you've created boards previously you can move those boards or copy them into your team. You can define team members so this is very powerful. If you're trying to do more advanced team management and you want specific team members to be assigned to a given uh, card on a board, then uh, you first have to create that list of who those members are. So you click on the members tab and then you can search for people by their name uh, or you can add them by like uh, email. So my recommendation is that you talk to your team members and figure out what their Trello username is and add them that way. Or if you know the email address that they use to sign up with uh, for Trello, then you could do it that way as well. And then you have a little bit of security control on the team members. So you can either have them be an admin or normal. With the business class version, there's more granular control over security and access. But I find that just giving everybody normal access is fine. Uh, and you can see I can't select on that because I'm actually the admin because I'm the one who's creating this in this case. So I can't change that to normal. But if you had other team members, you could add them that way. And then under settings, you can do a few things. You can change your team visibility. So right now this is a private uh, board so that way it's not indexed and it's not available to anybody outside of the team. So that way you can kind of make these things private. And then you can also link to Slack. So those features are built into the free version of Trello. And then of course the business class version of Trello has uh, deeper uh, team capabilities in terms of uh, restrictions and um, how Slack integrates and that sort of thing. So you can get really quite detailed in terms of permissions with business class Trello. With the free version, it's sort of on or off. So just bear that in mind. But it's pretty handy. And we leverage in our company the free version of Trello. We've talked about using the business class version. We're just not really ready for it yet. And the free version sort of serves our purposes. Well, let me give you an example uh, of what this looks like. So again, uh, the team functionality, very basic, very simple, but it does work. So let's look at a specific team situation. Hold on. So what I've done is I've pulled up a card in one of our team boards that we have set up and you can kind of see it in the background here implementing SSL. So this is actually a workflow that we have when we're setting up SSL for our client websites. So at Green Days in our Site for Less solution uh, we give free SSL to everybody. That's just one of the things we do. So this is how our team ensures that we have a you know, a solid process for making sure that SSL gets implemented right. And so you can see that we have these various checklists that we walk through as we're doing the work. But you can see up here we've got members. And so you can have uh, any team member be assigned to a card. And then as things happen to that card, those team members, of course, get alerted. And you can also at message team members as you're talking about the project that you're working on. So 
it's pretty handy actually uh, for the managing of specific things that you want to get done while working with other people to get those things done. So a uh, very handy tool. Love Trello for this. The team management capabilities, even in the free version, are really quite outstanding. Um, and then one other question that came up is how do you, how do you, you know, basically assign the pictures, you know, to the different people. And really that's up to the individuals because remember Trello itself is sort of free. Everybody has to be a member of Trello first. So when they define their user profile, they define their image. And then when their user profile gets linked to your team, as you're adding members, that image will be inserted. So that's kind of how it works. So as a team administrator, it's really not up to you uh, because it's up to that individual person person to join Trello first and then define their user profile. So that's up to them. And then once they're in the system, you can assign them to your team. All right. So hopefully that makes sense. Anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this extra bonus video on uh, very basic team management in the free version of Trello. But as always, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. And of course, if they prompt uh, something like this uh, where it makes sense to do another video in the series, I'm, I'm happy to do that for you. All right. Take care and make it a great day. Bye.